Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing good. So, uh, today I I downloaded this program here and uh, it's called Rhubarb Lip Sync in GitHub. What it does is it gives you an output text file with times and different mouth features that would um, sync up with the audio that you that you give it. Here's, here's the different, it's just A to H and then an X different mouth shape. And, and then with that you're supposed to uh, use like Adobe Vegas Pro by Magix or Spine, you know, these different programs. But what I thought is I could just um, do a quick bunch of scripts and just run it and it'll churn out some mouth movements that are close to the uh, sound. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it won't be as good as using the proper software, but it's nice and fast. <laughs> the, I, I'll give you all the links in the description. The first thing, when I tried to uh, use the art repository, it didn't work. I got some error for some reason, so I just went and downloaded it and then unzipped it and then so the next thing is you need to have your the voice uh, sound um, in a dot wav dot wav format or dot ogg so all my voice uh, audios were in .mp3, so I just used f of mpeg dash i voice .mp3 is my original audio, and then voice .wav is my output, and then I just run the um, programs. Dot forward slash rhubarb. You have to have your audio in the same. Uh, in the same folder as your um, program if you want to run it this way. So you have to be inside the, um, so you can CD into the rhubarb folder and then when you're in the folder you can just uh, dot forward slash rhubarb dash o for output, output.txt and voice.wav. So the voice.wav file has to be in that folder unless you want to um, put the address all there. Yep, just and just run it and wait and then you'll get an output which is a text file that has the times on the left hand column and the different mouse shapes on the right hand column, you know, from A to um, H and then the last one is, and then it's a X for a closed mouth. And then um, you can draw all the different mouse yourself if you want to. You can download the images that he's got there so that it gives you an idea of the different shapes. And then once you've done that, so this is kind of a, well this is how I did it. Uh, there's probably much better ways to do it. <laughs> but um, this was just a bunch of scripts I put together. It took me a long time to figure out how I was going to do it. And uh, there's probably much better ways out there. But uh, this works for me. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So the first thing was I had, so I had the start time. I wanted to have the end time for each. Um, so I wanted to add another column with the end times. And then... Um, so what I did was I just took the uh, this command awk nr not equal to one, so not the first row, so that would get rid of the first 
row and just printing out the uh, integer which is the time in seconds uh, without the uh, decimal points and then because I'm wanting to do 24 frames per second I'm multiplying that number by 24 and then minus 1 because I want to end with the frame before the the second row starts frame <laughs> if that makes sense and then um, so output.txt is where I'm getting my um, integer time from and then I'm outputting my results into a text file called output2.txt so there I've just got you can see um, a bunch of numbers all the way down to 239 and uh, it is because I had to remove the first row it's one row short so I'm going to add the last record um, so that there's a end time for the for the last row and this will all make sense maybe <laughs> later on but um, I'm just going through what I'm doing and so then I just uh, added this this last one here which is just uh, end goes to the end of my um, output.txt file and just prints out the last one times 24 and um, and then I use two those two arrow symbols to to show that it's adding to the already um, or the data or that's already in there and output to and then uh, then I want to just combine um, output and output to so I want the start time I want the 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 mouth image num uh, letter and um, also the end time so I've just written this uh, awk command that adds those uh, so it's got gets the ones from output 2 and then it also adds the ones from output dot txt and um, puts them all into a new file three columns called output 3 dot txt so now I have that I want to so I made another awk command that'll write out a bunch of for loops and this will um, and I'm going to put this into a um, shell script and these will the, these all these for loops will just go through and just make however many frames that need to be made for each of the um, different mouths in order to get uh, 24 frames per second so I've got um, uh, dollar sign 2 is the is the start time multiplying it, that by 24 and then um, so we start at so obviously the first one will be 0 so 0 times 24 is 0 and then it'll go up until the um, end time which is dollar sign 1 first column and then it'll increment uh, through one at a time uh, printing out so now all these um, the images that I got were called Lisa A, Lisa B, Lisa whatever so um, dot png and so I've just written Lisa dash but if whatever you call your your images you can call them you know whatever you want and put them there and um, 
and then the dollar three side is just the third column which has the letter and um, dot png and then um, this output is going to be uh, the name for the the frame the frame name <laughs> so and then that'll um, get taken from output dot txt and it's and this command's going to get um, printed into a file called output.sh so um, I hope that makes sense and so now now that I've run that you look in the output.sh it's got a whole bunch of four loops in there and so I just add a shebang dash bin slash bash at the start and save it and then um, I mean I could have put that in the awk command but um, if I'm going to make it as a script I'll probably do all that but for now it's just kind of a just a bunch of sort of simple um, commands and then um, so once I've saved that then I just chmod to make it executable and then run it and I have a whole bunch of images now and now that I've got all the images I can concatenate everything that's a .png in this folder and um, pipe it through to f of n well what I did was just make a new folder and put it into there and then I um, concatenated everything that's a .png otherwise you know some of the other images might get in the way and then pipe it through to f of mpeg um, and specify the frame rates 24 and then um, my output uh, file is a video dot mob video and then when I want to uh, combine the audios f of mpeg dash i output and then um, dot mob and I mean sorry input out is <laughs> the input is output dot mob and um, the other input is the voice wave file and then that um, combines them together and then um, it outputs as final dot mov so and, and that's that's a kind of quick easy way uh, you, you're welcome to use all these commands and you can make yourself a, a script or you can make a much better one <laughs> and just uh, well this is how I did it and uh, yeah there's pr probably better ways but it it's just a quick easy way and you don't have to use any software so there's anything to save time and if it's not really that important that it everything goes perfectly together then um yeah it's uh uh yeah it'll be fine <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um anyway so i hope that's been helpful for anyone who wants to do um some animations and uh yeah i I'm, I'm trying to get back into doing some stuff with critter and so uh i used critter to do the face and and mouth and stuff so you know just combine it together um yeah so um i hope that's been helpful and uh have a lovely day bye <laughs>